This is a film of action, love, and some pretty good comedic moments. Come here, you funny. This is the best film no one knows about. This is Restless Natives. This film consists of two young Scottish men who decide to hold up tour buses in the highlands of Scotland dressed as a clown and a wolf man. I know it sounds a bit weird, and frankly it is, but it's a great fun ride too. Will Bryce and Ronnie Wotherspoon, who are portrayed by Vincent Friel and Joe Mullaney, decide to hold up tour buses in rebellion to their drab lives in urban Scotland, becoming modern highwaymen. They had a toy gun that would shoot out a concoction of powders. They inadvertently become tourist attractions themselves and become a modern Scottish version of Robin Hood, spreading their spoils amongst the impoverished areas of Edinburgh. The Clown and the Wolfman become world famous with TV shows from Japan trying to catch them on film and Scottish police getting help from the Americans. The two became legends of Scotland. At its heart, the film is a comedy and has some great gags in it. At the start of the film, Will is talking about how he's getting warts and we get this lovely line. Does doing bad things give you warts? I think that's something you better discuss with your father later, Will. Side note, Luke, that right there, that's uh, that's King Theoden right there from, from Lord of the Rings. He's in this. We also get this hilarious scene where a policeman comes into Ronnie's joke shop shortly after one of their stick-ups. Uh, do you have any false tits? Also, in this scene, I can't stop looking at Will. He's just standing there awkwardly, struggling with some slime, trying to act normal while not giving away that they're holding up tour buses to a police officer. The film did a lot of guerrilla filming. This is because they couldn't afford to close the streets and they just filmed on them anyway. So the people in the background are just normal people. My favourite example of this is when Will's love interest, Margot, gets pulled into the back of a car in front of a load of bystanders just watching it happen, having no idea something's being filmed. And to them this young woman's just being kidnapped. Restless Natives came out at a time of high unemployment in the UK that hit Scotland especially hard due to economic changes and deindustrialization brought in by the Conservative government that Scotland had voted against in the 1983 general election. The film reflects the frustration and lifestyle of working class young Scots struggling to get work in the mid-1980s. The film shows our characters choosing to utilise the freedom of a motorbike to break free from this lifestyle within the brutalist urban architecture and into the beautiful landscape of the Scottish Highlands. The use of the motorbike is also a soft reference to the government minister who told the unemployed to get on their bikes to find a job. The film has been described as a homemade expression of local Scottish culture and a source of Scottish cultural identity and feeding into the rising Scottish nationalist movement at the time. This movement led to the creation of the Scottish Parliament in 1999 and the 2014 Scottish Independence Referendum. With some more recent polls showing support for Scottish independence at around 50-50, this film is still very much relevant in modern Scottish society. The film is a source of insurgent Scottish cultural identity and is very strongly juxtaposed to the idea of Britishness. The political nature of this can be obviously seen as a point where Will and Ronnie put a mask of Margaret Thatcher on a pile of dung and use it as a roadblock. Thatcher was so unliked by the working class of Britain that when she died in 2013, Ding Dong the Witch is Dead reached number two in the British charts. The film fed into the Scottish nationalist movement in the arts and is heavily represented by the soundtrack by Big Country. Big Country are a Scottish rock band who formed in Dunfermline in 1981. They were most popular in the early to mid-1980s, where they'd even headlined and supported Queen and Roger Daltrey. They were known for incorporating Scottish folk music styles and even engineered their guitar-driven sound to evoke the sound of bagpipes and other folk instruments. The soundtrack for Restless Natives evokes many mentions of Scottish history, such as the line, 240 years we lived without hope and without pride. This line refers to the Battle of Culloden, which ended the Jacobite uprising in 1745 and led to what can only be described as cultural genocide against the Highland people of Scotland. The act of prescription was put in place in 1746 that made the playing of bagpipes, clan tartans and speaking Gaelic illegal. The Heritable Jurisdictions Act also came into effect and essentially removed any land authority that surviving clan chieftains had, with all ownership reverting to the crown. This had been compounded upon by an act of no quarter which led to the execution of most surviving soldiers along with a highland clearance that began not long after in the 1750s. This small line conveys the anti-Britishness of the film's themes. Restless Natives ends with the clown and the wolfman riding through Edinburgh 
as crowds cheer them on. After this stunt, they went on to do one last stick up. Alas, this was one too many as they were captured by the police. However, the clown and the wolfman get set free, faking their deaths as not to cause a political situation between the people of Scotland and the British government. The clown and the wolfman had become a symbol of freedom, anti-establishmentarianism, and of Scotland.